The Obama administration is in damage control mode right now uh, in regard to the Department of Justice uh, seizing phone calls of journalists in the AP. One of the elements of their new strategy is that they're pushing and have pushed Senator Chuck Schumer to reintroduce a media shield law that he originally uh, was pressing for back in 2009. So just to get you up to date uh, really fast, uh, the Department of Justice seized in secret um, a, a collection of the phone numbers and the phone call records of journalists at the AP. Now we don't know exactly why they did this yet. There, there seems to be the belief, the, the most likely candidate, is that they're investigating uh, some leaking of information that goes back a couple of years uh, because it seems like some of the journalists whose numbers were seized or whose phone records were seized were involved in that story. We're going to have to wait days or weeks to find out. Um, so currently that scandal is going on and because of the presence of the Benghazi scandal, the IRS scandal, uh, Obama is not going to just wait out the weekend and see what happens here. Um, so he pushed for Schumer to reintroduce this law. Now uh, here's a description of the law. Uh, the Free Flow of Information Act would protect journalists uh, from being compelled to testify about their confidential sources unless all other avenues are exhausted and exposure is in the public interest. So I mentioned the fact that this law was originally proposed by Chuck Schumer back in 2009. So why did it fail? You have to understand the political context of the time. Back then in 2009, uh, when you thought of, uh, of journalists and you thought of the free distribution of information, you could not help but think of WikiLeaks. And so the Obama administration was not having any of this protecting confidential sources business back in 2009. And so they pushed for this bill to fail and fail it did. Now, uh, it's being brought back up not just because of uh, the current AP scandal that's going on with the Department of Justice, but also because the law has been amended. Uh, if it passes, it will do what we've already talked about, but if there's some sort of national security interest or if there's some sort of harm that will come to the country if we don't find out about these sources, uh, they can still be compelled to give up the sources. So it's now the Free Flow of Information Act, but not allowing WikiLeaks, I suppose. Um, so let, let's listen really fast just to Chuck Schumer because he's obviously in favor of this bill. He's sponsoring it. Chuck Schumer in the New York Times talking about the reintroduction of the bill says, this kind of law would balance national security needs against the public's right to the free flow of information. At minimum, our bill would have ensured a fairer, more deliberative process in the case. Uh, now, analyses of how this media shield law would actually influence the scandal that's ongoing right now, uh, it's n by no means clear that this actually would have made it that much harder for the Department of Justice to seize these phone records. Now, it's possible that if this had been in effect, we would have learned about it sooner, uh, or that they might have had to go to a judge to get the information, but they very well, even with this new law, could have seized uh, the journalist's phone records. Um, and I have to say that I understand politically why Obama is doing this. He has to be seen to be getting out in front of each one of these scandals. And something like a media shield law sounds good, especially when you gussy it up to look like something out of the Avengers. Now, would it actually protect journalists? Not necessarily. Would it actually protect the free flow of information? Almost certainly not. And you shouldn't be surprised about this. Uh, despite the fact that during his initial campaign and in the first few years of his presidency, Barack Obama wanted to stress that he was going to be the most transparent administration in history. Uh, despite that, uh, the only transparency we've had is our ability to see through his rhetoric and find out that he hates nothing more than whistleblowers. Uh, he does not want any sort of leaks, especially when it comes to national security information. Um, I, I don't think that he's primarily concerned with the phone records of journalists, uh, but this is another step in what I think is a dangerous road for the administration and the U.S. government, whether headed by a Democrat or a Republican, to go down. Um, we have to have the ability of information to come out. There can be national security concerns, I don't discount that, but sometimes the information, especially when it comes to the activities of our troops in Iraq and Afghanistan, needs to be revealed. And I don't like laws like this that, that seem to protect us, that seem to protect journalists, but actually do really nothing of the sort.